are coming to the last chapter of this term 1 addition adding two things together let's take a simple example tomorrow in your school there's social there's science there's math and english you have your timetable remember in school we have timetable yes so we have to take the social and science textbook we have to take the math and the english textbooks so how do we know how many textbooks will be in our bag you just add everything together my social my science my math and my english so there are one two three four so you add it mom tells you go and buy two tomatoes and two onions so how do you do it so you add the two tomatoes and then the two onions so you're going to have four things in your bag when you come back these two words are called add add-ins okay two and two are called add-ins this is called a sum okay will you remember always the two numbers that we are adding are called add-ins the two numbers we are adding is called add-ins easy no and the answer or the result is called the sum okay we started with that now we'll go on to addition itself okay so the first type of addition that we are going to learn is without carry forward that's the easy sums okay but doesn't mean that the others are difficult so you should not get scared no let's go and once we remember from beginning we've been saying whatever you practice and perfect you'll never forget all your life okay so don't worry about these words so let's first we are going to see without carry forward they are simple and easy okay let's take some examples from your textbook itself page number 72 let's go back to our uh, um, um, place house okay ones and tens ones and tens so the sum that is given is 58 and 31 so remember we don't have to carry forward anything i'll tell you what is carry forward so let's see what's the answer 8 plus 1 is 9 5 plus 3 is 8 so we got the answer 89 the next one example sudha scored 148 marks in mathematics and 121 in science total how many marks did she get let's look at it sudha got how much in mathematics 148 148 remember and then she got 121 in science how do you how do you call it now 121 now we have to see what is the total she got okay so what do we do add 8 plus 1 is 9 4 plus 2 is 6 1 plus 1 is 2 so we got the answer 269 the concept of addition is same don't worry at all but it's just one it's a four digit number that's the only difference that does not have to worry you let's do the math 1 plus 5 is 6 2 plus 3 is 5 4 plus 1 is 5 4 plus 2 is 6 so we got the answer 6556 remember the place values again 6000 550 and 6 got it clear okay look at the practice sums in page number 73 all are very very easy you will do it in no time it will be like a 3 minute noodle even faster again there are more sums for us to practice 
in page number 74. You will become champions at the end of it because you've practiced so much. Now, we have understood what is without carry forward. We didn't have to do anything. Now we will do with carry forward and then we'll understand what's the difference between the two. Rahul Dravid, very famous personality, you know, scored 28 runs in the first ODI and 35 runs in the second. So totally how many runs did Mr. Rahul Dravid score? Let's see. We'll first write it down and according to the place values. 28 and he also scored 35. Okay, we're going to remember we're going to learn with carry forward. So what do we carry forward is the question because it is math we only carry forward numbers. Easy no? Okay, what is 5 plus 8? 13. So what do we do with 13? We can't write two numbers here, right? So let's write 3 and then we carry forward 1 to the tens column. That is what it is. Then we'll continue to add as normal. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, remember, there is one 1 sitting on top of this. Okay? So then you add the 5 also with this number and you get the answer 6. So this is the score of Mr. Rahul Dravid in the ODI. But what are the things we learned? We carried forward 1 and then that 1 we added to this. 3 plus 2 is 5. We added plus 1. So we got the answer 6. And carry on here, you pass on here. If you get a carry on here, pass on here. That's simple as that. Okay? We will look at the sums. Don't worry. Alright. Now, let's for practice do the next one. Add 78 and 89. Let's do it. Okay? Just so that you will have a better understanding of, remember this is with carry forward. So, it's 78 and 89. 8 plus 9 is 17. We cannot write both the numbers. A single digit has to come here. Okay. So, what do you do? It's 17. So, we carry 1 forward here. Okay. And then we continue to add this normally. 7 plus 8. 15. And then what do we do? Don't forget the person who is sitting here. Okay. We take this and add to the 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Now what do we do about the 1? Go to the hundreds. Got it? 167 is the answer. Page number 76, there are more sums. But come down to the last part of 76, there are 3 digits. Okay, will that worry you? No, because you have already learned how to do it. Okay? Okay, let's see. Let's make the house again. Okay? 45 13 24. So, there are 3 sets of numbers for us to calculate. Should not worry you at all. Okay, addition is the same. How many ever numbers change? Addition is without carry forward or with carry forward. That's all you need to know. The rest everything confidently go and do the addition. Alright. This one, there are two methods of doing it. But don't worry, both the answers will be same. In both, the answers will be the same. That is the beauty about addition. So, we can either do... 40, we can do all, first one, one type we will try. 5 plus 3 plus 4. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay? And then we carry forward 1 here. Then what do we do? 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Then we add this number to the answer here. Okay? 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So 7 plus this 1 is, answer is 8. Okay? Now let's see the second method of doing if there are 3 sums. 
okay if there are three addends what is the method the second method is same you'll get the same answer now the second method of doing a three digit one is we can add the first two and to the answer we get we add this 24 and then we will get the answer let's try it 4 plus 5 plus a 3 is 8 4 plus 1 is 5 okay we got the 58 now we will add 58 and 24 let's see if we'll get this answer if we didn't get this answer then it is wrong but if we got the answer then there are two methods that's all you need to know okay 8 plus 4 is 12 you carry forward 1 here 5 plus 2 is 7 and then you add this carry forward 1 to it and you get the answer 8 yay we got the answer so do not worry whether it is three addends or four addends or five addends don't worry it, addition is the same to make it easy for you there are two methods you add all the addends at one time or to make it easy for you you add two addends and then with that answer you add the next addend okay and then you will get the answer the answer will be the same whatever the method it's up to you to choose the method based on what is comfortable for you but both ways you'll get the same answer look at the practice exercises in page number 77 easy then page number 78 we have to carry over and there are three digit numbers then in page number 79 are three add-ins one two three add-ins and then you have to get the answer do you want to try one for example let's do 581 in page number 79 okay let's draw our house just to make things easy for you, you don't have to draw the house when you have learnt it very well okay till you learn we just have to do so the sum is 581 the second addend is 105 and the third addend is 155. So these are the addends that we are going to add together and you get the answer, the sum. Okay, let's try our first method, add everything together. First method, okay. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. So we got two digits here, so we are going to carry forward here okay 8 plus 0 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 okay so to 13 we add this one number so we get the answer 14 so we can't write 14 here so we'll just write 4 and then we will go on to do again carry forward 1 here to the hundreds so 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 okay otherwise 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 so you got the answer 841 okay otherwise what's the second method you add 581 and 105 okay to the answer that you get you add 155 so let's try that also 5 plus 1 is 6 8 plus 0 is 8, 5 plus 1 is 6. We got 686. So, the second part, we add the next addend, 155. 1, 5, 5. Okay, let's see what's the answer. 6 plus 5 is 11. So, we carry forward 1 here, 1 here. 8 plus 5 is 13 plus 1, 14. So, we write the 4 and then we carry on one here so six plus it's not 16 it's one here okay six plus one is seven and then seven you add this carry forward you get the answer eight so our early answer was 
841. Both methods you got the same answer. So, number one is you can use this method to find out if your answer is correct or second thing whichever is convenient for you so that you will get the addition easily. Okay. So, exercise page number 79. And everything is exercise, so we will not go into details. It's for you to practice and make yourself perfect. But one interesting fact about addition that is given here in page number 80 is very important. Let's read that quickly. When two or more numbers are added in any order, the sum remains the same. So that is the example we just learned. Any order, adding all the three together or adding two and then adding the second number to the answer either ways you will get the same answer not to worry at all just learn how to add and carry forward when we add 0 to a number the sum is a number itself yes we all know 11 plus 0 is 11 8 plus 0 is 8 the same answer we get anything we add to the 0 we get the same answer the last important or interesting fact about addition is when we add 1 to a number, the sum, remember the sum, sum is the answer. The sum is the next number, easy. Any number, 1 plus 1, 2. You get the next number that will come after 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 100 plus 1, 101. So, any number plus 1, you will get the number that will come after that. Easy, right? So, look at the number of examples that are given for you to practice. I can assure you by the end of this you will be a champion in addition. Look at the uh, examples in page number 84 also. There are more sums for you to do and solve in your notebook. Okay, That brings us to the end of this unit and I hope you have learned everything about additions. It's simple easy but once you get the concept you are ready to go for all the classes all the addition sums all right